day 40 of doing the social media detox. I haven't been watching anime, I haven't watched any movies in the last 40 days. I've really reduced my consumption of Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. I try to only use it to upload and sort of do these videos and sort of just use it for work, replying to messages. But yeah, I can't believe I've done it for 40 days. Great comment from Kaylin Schultz. So the main thing I've noticed that has changed is that I'm less, my crave for dopamine has decreased. I'm able to control it when I'm sort of feeling down or not motivated and I want to procrastinate and I want to ease that pain with dopamine. I'm able to catch myself doing that. I think I'm also more focused and more calm and more present. Um, and I also remove that urge to just jump on social media and, and numb my brain. Like I sort of want to do it today. I'm able to hold myself back because I have to read every night. So the reading every night has also forced me to not just turn my brain into a potato. So those are the main benefits, but I'm only 40 days in. I feel like this is still enough, not enough because I'm still, I do still like TikTok. I still like watching YouTube videos. I love watching podcasts and I love just sort of consuming content. And that addiction hasn't gone away yet. Today I was out again, so I had used social media little to nothing. 30 minutes, 6 minutes on Instagram and 26 minutes on TikTok. Very good. Tip of the day. When you go out in nature, you'll be surprised how primal we get and how the urge for checking social media completely disappears. We humans weren't made to consume content and just constantly get hits of dopamine. They've done a study. When you give cocaine to a rat in sort of a cage, the rat is going to just do the cocaine until it dies. But when you give cocaine to a rat in a naturistic sort of environment where it has trees, it has places to run around to, it has no cravings to use the cocaine. And we are just like the mice. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.